So this word is basically the uh, professional jargon in the Japanese toy industry. And uh, later used on the hobby magazines. And now almost becoming the common word. Now, today, from now on, I'm going to speak about the, the history of uh, kaiju software. But before I speak about uh, the history of kaiju software, I'd like to speak about the history of my company, Marathon, because as a Marathon uh, com company made uh, the first uh, kaiju software in the 1960s. And uh, also, it will be more uh, comprehensive and uh, interesting to compare to other toys. Um, so, Marathon history uh, started in 1923. Um, uh, now, Ishida established the company Ishida Manufacturing uh, in 1923 and uh, producing cheap toys and uh, toy camera, toy video cameras. Like cheap toy means something like a, a pinwheel, something like that. And 10 years later, in 1933, his son, Haruya Ishida, took over his father's business and changed to the company name uh, from Ishida Manufacturing to Marusan. Marusan, uh, actually, full name of the company, Marusan Shoten. Shoten means like a shop or a small company at the time. And the company name Marusan is from the Haruya Ishida used to work company, uh, it's a lo company logo, or it's a, uh, like a circle and sun. Maru sun means maru is a circle, sun is a tree. So <coughs> he, used to, uh, he used to work on the company's logo, circle sun. But he took the name, his company name from that logo. <coughs> and, uh, but uh, uh, in 1940s, he had to stop. Uh, producing uh, toys uh, because of uh, World War II. And uh, uh, right after the World War II, many uh, toy industry started this uh, again soon. And um, the most popular uh, item of the toy at the time was a tin toy jeep. Because uh, at that time, J uh, Japan was occupied by the American. And so many American military people were in, J in Japan. Uh, those tin toys were tin toy tin toys were made for uh, souvenirs. And this was uh, uh, made by the uh, Kosuke, uh, Matsuzo Kosuke in 90, uh, December in 1945. Uh, and uh, the, many those kind of toys. Uh, made in Japan, but uh, at that time, uh, not only toy industry, but also many uh, industry had a problem with the shortage of materials. Therefore, the toy material team was uh, used a recycled can of the uh, mostly American military people used. So that means those kind of jeeps made in Japan, but materials made in USA. <laughs> Marston uh, started business again in 1947, and uh, producing uh, uh, so-called optical toys. Uh, it's like a toy binocular, uh, toy camera, toy uh, sun projector, as well as before the wall. Uh, that's a picture of a slide projector as a sign. And uh, this package right side, I can say, like Mickey Mouse, <laughs> maybe <boot -to> <laughs> and uh, the left side picture is a uh, Marsan headquarters in the 1950s. Bottom is a Marsan factory in the 1950s. And then, um, after the World War II, um, also Marsan started to produce uh, tin toys. Because <coughs> tin toy was a very, very big business at the time. Uh, it's because, uh, for exported to many countries. Um, and that is just the biggest uh, market at the time. So this is a Marsan product, tin toys, uh, kitchen set, and uh, you know, the, the, it's a, um, the, the board, the uh, basal board. Uh, <coughs> it's uh, going on the water and by friction mechanism. Okay, next. <coughs> and uh, 
Mao Shan's, um, uh, the, the third president later, at the time, uh, managing director, Minoru was uh, crazy about cars, and uh, he used to have the uh, MZ convertible and uh, uh, many cars, and uh, he tried to produce the very realistic and elaborating toy nobody produced before. That was uh, that's Mao Zedong Cadillac of 1953, and uh, the person in charge of the uh, uh, managing of the production was uh, Matsuo Kosuge. He uh, I showed the jeep of the Kosuge jeep. <coughs> and next, <coughs> this is the Mao products of the team toys. Left side, left, lower left is a submarine tin toys. Uh, it's a, a going under under the water and can go ahead uh, about thirty feet by the friction mechanism. It's you know, so very very good at the time. <coughs> and the left up <coughs> upper left is a you know, blue dog toy series. It's very durable, a tin toy. And um, when Marshall started to sell that toy, selling very well, later uh, suddenly stopped selling because they're too durable. You know, if I buy one, you know, we keep long time and no need to buy new. <laughs> <coughs> so, but after that, the toy started to sell very well because of the one magazine, uh, the magazine picture. That magazine uh, was uh, a boy was uh, having the Malsan tin toy, the pictures of the, in the magazine. The boy was now uh, Emperor Hirohito. I was not Namki, not says Namki. When he was a kid, he was uh, having the Malsan tin toy. That was on the uh, magazine, on the magazine. People saw that, so many, many people wanted to see same one. <laughs> so on, so the well again. <coughs> and right up is a um, tin, not some, um, tin toy, a battery operated, a smoking series, a smoking drum. It's a, a gimmick by battery, a smoke. And the uh, bottom is a, a smoking uh, um, Popeye. Uh, that's a, a not Marsan's product. It's a, a product, no, lime. Lima is a, a subsidiary of the American toy company, uh, Marx Toys. Mm -hmm. Not the Marx Toy, but the Mark Nagata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Louis Marx. Mm -hmm. you know, Mark. Louis Marx is the biggest toy company in the uh, US uh, 1950s. And uh, because this kind of OEM business, uh, Lima ordered to Marx and to use the same gimmick to the smoking series and make smoking for pie. Okay. <coughs> Um, this is a Marsan fast vinyl toy, the early middle of the 1950s. <coughs> for mommy doll, it's very, um, <coughs> um, baby doll. <coughs> um, I think the late 1950s and early 1960s kind of the uh, turning point of, for Japanese toy, but maybe not only. Japanese toy industry, and that was many other countries. Because uh, late 1950s and early 1960s was a uh, uh, time new materials came. Like uh, look at this uh, vinyl toy. Like a uh, doll used to be the, uh, for example, American uh, toy company, uh, Ideal, right? Ideal. <coughs> I don't uh, produce a lot of like uh, Shari Temple dolls in 1930s. In 1960, they made a vinyl, a, a, a vinyl uh, Shari Temple. So doll changed to the material change to the um, used to be the composition and turned to vinyl. <coughs> and some uh, wooden models changed to plastic. Uh, okay. And this mouse and the uh, um, mouse and called Pla model. That's a plastic model assembly kit. And the first one of the notch was a submarine. 
uh, first one was uh, uh, <coughs> a yeah, copy of the um, rebel. And the soon, uh, Mao Shan negotiated the rebel and uh, um, also produced a uh, plastic mold kit for rebel. And, uh, also, Mao Shan sold uh, rebel's product in Japan. That's a Mao Shan, and this is Mao Shan uh, made the plastic mold kit, the first made in Japan plastic mold kit. And also at the time, uh, um, mature diecast uh, major cars came came up. Um, so many tin toy cars turned to diecast major cars. Right side is uh, Marshall's uh, diecast uh, miniature car called uh, Daika Model Series. Left is a, a soft car racing. Also, it's a popular toy at the time, early 1960s. <coughs> okay. So, <coughs> this is Marshall's plastic model kit on uh, sold 1964. Um, bottom is a uh, uh, actually this is the first um, Godzilla's uh, toy uh, plastic kit by Aurora, 1964. Um, Nelson, uh, uh Aurora produced a Godzilla plastic model uh, first, and the same year, and uh, Nelson was December of 1964. Uh, Secondly, uh, sold the Godzilla plastic kit. And, uh, <coughs> One uh, difference is uh, battery operated uh, walking. And uh, left side is a package. Uh, I think the Marsan Godzilla is uh, um, from the Godzilla of the King Kong versus Godzilla version. I think the Aura Plus market, maybe that's package, no, not four, or maybe, I don't know which one. Looks Fence looks like uh, King Kong bus version, but I don't know. Okay. Next. Um, this is a Mars and Tin Tai Godzilla, uh, sold in 1964. Uh, the battery operated, operated and uh, uh, this flashing light, eyes flashing, and uh, some sound of the gimmick sound, got the nice uh, uh, howling, and some smoke uh, you know, from mouth, <laughs> and walking. So that's Tin Toy Godzilla, 1964. This is very, uh, and also so long time, started to sell uh, 1964, and uh, um, so a long while. <coughs> okay, next. Oh, this is first uh, Marshall Vinyl yeah. Sokubi, Kaiji, Kaiji Sokubi, the first one, first lineup. Um, now, uh, the garam, the uh, second from the right side, uh, these are a very early, early versions, um, because Marshall uh, started to produce tin toy, um, First one in sample and the uh, uh, person in charge of sales went to the uh, wholesaler uh, business talk, but the uh, reaction of the wholesaler was not so good because most of the toys, you know, wholesalers didn't think that most of the toys would be popular for children. And, uh, therefore, <coughs> Uh, first production was only 500 pieces of each. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but right after it produced 500 each, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the order came later and uh, soon made the production more. So that means only first 500 pieces are made from the master mode. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a uh, production mode. And especially uh, difference. Of course, uh, maybe somebody know that uh, 
product, product from a small and production more difference a little bit shrink in product made by production a little bit shrink in a smaller. But not only that, like it, and garam was a uh, from the must made from master mold is a uh, tail is a uh, movable, another part. When they made production mold, uh, they together so one part and tail. So also uh, Gomez uh, left, the left one. This one also uh, original from the master mold is a uh, tail is a different part and the movable uh, production mold together. So. Uh, together. So, um, so the, you, you can obviously you know, can see a difference uh, from master mode and uh, production mode. And last year, uh, that Gala uh was uh, an auction in Japan, sold uh, 8 million Japanese yen means how much US dollars? <coughs> I think the most in the vintage uh, world, uh, the most expensive uh, than kaiju so I think. <coughs> Also, the Gomez also expensive, but uh, Gamma, uh, the most expensive. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, so, um, the kaiju boom in uh, Japan started in 1966 after the broadcasting the new series of Ultra Q. And uh, Ultra Q is uh, um, the producer of the uh, Ultra Q is uh, A.G. Tsuburaya. Uh, he was a, a, a special effect uh, director of the Godzilla series. So that means um, um, Godzilla Toho monsters and uh, Similar productions, ultra series, and you know, rated. So, first, this is a picture of Gomez. Is a, uh, the kaiju, uh, kaiju appears the first episode in the ultra Q. Can you see that? This is a Gomez. Is a is a using the Godzilla suit. Yeah. The adding horn and the, you know. So, it's a movie suit. Isn't this something? No. Difficult to see, but uh, still using the Godzilla suit. And the next one is uh, <coughs> okay. Star is a big octopus uh, in the Pluto Q series, but um, um, actually the the special effects scene um, in the Pluto Q the Octopus. It's not suit, but uh, kind of the how to say the, the doll or puppet or something. That was <coughs> used from the movie of the Frankenstein uh, versus Balabon. That the movie <laughs> that an octopus appeared uh, finally. That's uh, using that octopus. Also, uh, uh, octopus appears uh, King Kong versus a uh, Godzilla. Some of them film us using the, that's it, actually using the uh, living octopus using to so <laughs> film. And, and uh, that's using also in Ultra Q series. And uh, also, right side is uh, the monster bird named uh, Lalucius. And uh, also, in this uh, episode, uh, there's many scenes from the Rodan. That's a famous uh, scene from Rodin, trains crashing and, uh, by the strong wind. And, uh, that's a film using from Rodin. And Ultraman series started in 1966. And this, uh, uh, from this uh, Ultra series, second Ultra series is color TV series. But in Japan, the first uh, color um, kaiju film was uh, not Ultraman. A uh, couple of weeks faster, uh, Space Giant in English? Mm -hmm. Magma Taishi, uh, Space Giant, may maybe in English, Space Giant. That's a fast a color TV problem. A couple of weeks faster than Ultraman. So then also a color TV program, and very popular. 
No, uh, you know, Ultraman also produced, but uh, they have to produce series within the limited budget. So therefore, they have they have to, you know, use the most suit effectively, right? So Red King, the Abbas, <coughs> use the same suit, obviously. <laughs> so. At that time, you know, Mansan is the same thing. Yeah? Ah. <laughs> switch head. <laughs> so, like, right? So, oh, oh, this one. <coughs> the Bioboom is a, a monster of the Toho movie. Uh, Frankenstein uh, versus Baron. I heard that English title, something Frank like that. Frankenstein conquers the world. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. um, right, mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Frankenstein conquers the world. Yes. And uh, this monster is so, used so many times on Ultra series. <laughs> In uh, Powers, it's an Ultra Q monster using suits from the Baragon. And in Ultraman, and uh, Neronga, right, right up, up, up right, Neronga is also using the Baragon suit. And the uh, right uh, bottom is uh, uh, Gabra, also using the um, same suit of Baro. Also, Mansan did the same thing. Neronga, Agos, Garamon. It's uh, good for uh, and product, TV production, and also good for toy company. <laughs> So, uh, also, this one, uh, Ultra Q Pegura is a monster of the uh, monster of the uh, Ultra Q series. The right side is a uh, uh, Chandula. It's a, it's, a, it's like a, a switch ahead, something like mm -hmm. big ear, or something. The Chandula. And also must be the same thing. It's a muscle on Pegra and Chandra. It's a good for toy company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a <coughs> Elgin Bowton. And uh, but the right side is uh, in the Ultra Q series and uh, which uh, in Japanese semi ning uh, maybe in English translated uh so that's a head and added something, you know, uh, basically using the same head, and just uh, added something and uh, became the alien belt. Okay. Garamon, uh, as this one. Use a completely same suit. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing changed. <laughs> and uh, Garmon was a robot from another planet. You know, very big and uh, but uh, Pigmon is a kind of uh, small uh, monster and like a, a, a kind of the alive monster a monster human. <laughs> so uh, Pigmon, and today I brought Pigmon uh, soft but <laughs> well, it sold out today. Jirox. It's obvious, right? Um, it's because uh, <coughs> um, at that time, kids were very you know, excited about that. You know. so it's, uh, <laughs> The Godzilla and uh, finally Ultraman took the film out. <laughs> you know, but completely it looks like Godzilla versus <laughs> Ultraman. <laughs> so today I brought many giraffes over there. So. <laughs> maybe I, before I come here, maybe I saw some couple of pieces still available. <laughs> Let me check on them. <coughs> because it's, it's funny today, because uh, I should record him. Oh, I, mean, uh, I want to bring the Godzilla here, but uh, because license, you know, oh. you know, I, I got the international license for the series. 
but then not uh, Godzilla. So now Godzilla's now movies, you know, showing. So um, maybe I thought maybe Godzilla would be. And it's a funny thing that I do that for some of the with the like a very uh, transparent and I put the um, purple and the sold out and then some of the and the this new Godzilla film something like blue the image right yeah so today I brought a transparent very like blue painting but not so purple <laughs> I don't know maybe <laughs> people with a purple rather than blue. <laughs> Yeah, okay. next. Oh. This is me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holding the Mr. Uh, and Hayata. My Marson toy. As a, yeah, I was a Marson collector. <laughs> and uh, now, from now, I'm talking about the uh, Marson's uh, soccer view. Uh, this is a uh, Wrote that Marsan's Kaiju Sobio of the 1960s, uh, mostly 1966 and 67. Uh, right side is an Anthra. This one is a survivor of my collection when I bought it in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, Marsan's products is uh, you know, obviously not realistic you know, uh, because. Um, the start of the Marsan uh, Kaiju Sokubi is um, actually uh, first uh, product was mo most of toy was uh, in Marsan uh, plastic model kit first and uh, two years later by now and uh, <coughs> Marsan thought about producing uh, by now uh, how how we can uh, how Marsan could produce and uh, it's fun. Uh, first of all, the uh, factory, uh, almost uh, Marsan's, Marsan is many factories, all factory, service, uh, uh, outsource, um, um, and first of all, uh, when Marsan thought about uh, producing the Kaiju Sokubi, uh, asked the quotation for the uh, factory, that producing the uh, that's mummy doll uh, uh, I showed today, baby doll. This is also slash product. And uh, another uh, quotation for another factory, they are making the uh, animal song. And uh, Marsan is buying uh, those uh, this toy companies, uh, toy maker has to carry a lot of kind of toys. Some of them are buying from the factory, like a factory uh, mold and buying and uh, sell Marsan as a, with Marsan name selling. So next, this is um, animals soccer. Um, um, so Marsan uh, asked quotation for two factories, and uh, Marsan money goes expensive, so. Uh, Finally, order to the factory where um, producing the dogs are uh, animals only. Therefore, uh, sculptor or uh, people produce the Mansan Kaiju, the same, same people. To, uh, yeah. So, therefore, like a cute way, right? <laughs> so, also, the re there are some reasons. Uh, one is uh, when Mansan. Uh, thought to produce the kaiju sokubi. Maybe if the monster is so realistic, maybe you know, children, you know, sometimes they scare children, you know, maybe you want to make popular toy, uh, maybe uh, the, the figure should be a little bit cute, or uh, let's say coloring, um, they back to be colorful, and not, not um, Com different from the original monster suit, because <coughs> at that time, a licenses, <coughs> licenses approval, not approval, but not coloring at that time. Um, 
toy company could decide, whatever color. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> Madison cho chose a color, like maybe popular for children. Like light bright color, blue, red, like that. So that's, and that's, a made, that's made the style of the Madison Kaiju Sophie. Yeah, that, uh, that's um, uh, animal zombie the kind of the roots of the Marusan's kaiju zombie. <laughs> okay. And uh, <clears throat> Marusan uh, saw the uh, many ka uh, kaiju zombie, <clears throat> uh, but uh, in 1968, the first uh, kaiju boom was over. And by the uh, end of the broadcast of Brutal 7, uh, December 1968, uh, Marusan went bankruptcy. And next year, uh, 1969, Marusan rebuilt uh, as a small company. And uh, at the same time, uh, Marusan's ex worker. Uh, three people established a new company. That's a, that was Blue Mark. So, so Blue Mark established in 1969, uh, next year of the bankruptcy of Marusan, by the ex-worker of uh, Marusan. So there are two companies, uh, rebuilt Marusan, and, uh, and Blue Mark was established in the same year, almost um, maybe 90, May, uh, April, May, uh, 1969, yeah, 1969. And uh, Bullmark um, st started, uh, right after they established uh, Bullmark, they uh, started to produce uh, Kaiju Sophie again, very soon. And uh, uh, first of all, um, Marusan was hesitant to produce Sobi uh, Kaiju again because, oh, by the way, uh, the reason of the bankruptcy of Marusan, oh, sorry, I'm uh, 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 Okay, um, Marusan, uh, sorry, uh, 1967, Marusan changed company name, Marusan to Marusan. The spelling like a uh, should be S uh, M A R U Z A N something like that, the pronunciation, but still using the same uh, S A N logo, but doesn't change to this logo in 1967. Because at the time, President, uh, the, the, the third President, Minoru Ishida, uh, decided that because Mansa had a little problem because. Uh, um, most of the toys selling well, but 90, around 1965, um, well, some, uh, too much investment for the tooling for the slot cars. In Japan, slot cars boom, very, <coughs> um, finished very in short time. And uh, uh, that's kind of uh, slot, uh, slot racing. Like a tooling, the cost very expensive, so too much investment in the company you know, and difficult. So, and then uh, 1967, uh, uh, Minor uh, asked uh, uh, fortune teller <laughs> and said, Maybe your company name is not good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Maru-san means, Maru means, in Japanese, Maru, -san is, Maru means money. San means gone. That's <laughs> 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 never good. Hey, you should check, check Maru-san. Maru, uh, uh, Maru means money. Zan means remain. <laughs> 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 but the uh, fact was, uh, remain was not money, stock. <laughs> so, uh, one year later, the change the company name uh, went bankruptcy. So, and uh, so December 
December 1968, Amazon went bankruptcy, and next year, rebuilt. And uh, so, first of all, after the rebuild using that logo, <coughs> later also, Gordon also now using both. And uh, so, um, Blue Mark started to sell <coughs> Kaiju so fast, and uh, using the same mold to Marston. And uh, this is several, completely same uh, figure, but uh, uh, this is Marston's classic Godzilla, which is Blue Mark, maybe sold in 97. Um, they made another production mold, so that means Blue Mark classic Godzilla is slightly smaller than Marston's Godzilla. Only difference is uh, the trademark in the sole of the foot. There's so many kinds, but that's the only difference, Marsh and Bulma. There's not only Godzilla, ma many kinds of the uh, monster. The Marsh and produced the same figure, and uh, 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 Bulma produced. The difference is uh, the trademark on the um, sole in the uh, foot. And uh, um, Blue Mark produced uh, sold uh, many um, by uh, Kaiju Sotheby again and sold very well, especially the uh, 1971 uh, uh, new Ultraman series started. Uh, Ultraman Returns. Uh, it's uh, Ultraman Jack now, of course. And, uh, 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 <coughs> I wanted to produce uh, Kaiju Sobi again, but most of the <coughs> popular license was took, the Bulma took already. So, Malshan somehow could take the anime series, Norakuro, <coughs> that's my, and I said, bottom, it's an anime, Japanese uh, uh, anime, Norakuro. And, but, uh, Malshan couldn't take any popular kaiju license. Therefore, made original. <laughs> oh, very close to the boots, but uh, <laughs> it's original. <laughs> so, uh, listen, uh, this is name, King Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, uh, But I think some of them are very original, like uh, Abileon, Siebel, something like this, uh, uh, Baron, or... It's, I, I think it, it's very original. <coughs> so. <coughs> and then, um, next, the uh, new term. Uh, do you know Ultraman Ace is a, a new, uh, uh, next to the uh, Ultraman Jack, and uh, at the time, um, TBS, and uh, a broadcasting company of the Ultra Seas, uh, came to Marusan, and uh, because Marusan already produced, uh, first of all, uh, Marusan produced a toy Original series, uh, not in this, but uh, Ultra, named Ultra Ace. And then, um, Tsubaya Production was thinking about next new series, Ultra Ace, co coincidence. <laughs> so, but Marsha already produced toys. And, uh, <coughs> and the TV station came to Marsha and asked that, uh, you know, uh, could you do something for that? Uh, Trademark registration, the matter. So, Marsan gave up the Ultra Ace, uh, that kind of the, the trade of the. So, therefore, Marsan could get license of the Ultraman Ace, miniature, mini, mini, mini size soft and plastic model kit. So, um, that's the reason. Uh, coincidence, Marsan made. But anyway, that was Ultra Ace, no, uh, name of Ultra Ace, but uh, 
they changed the name Ultra Mang Ace. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, because they didn't have enough time to you know, adjust the registration matter. So anyway, Alison gave up Ultra Ace, and, uh, but instead got the license of the small, uh, sorry, and the plus small kit. Okay. <coughs> um, oh, so the mouse on. Uh, after the uh, original Kaiju uh, Sonobi uh, and uh, 1970s, uh, we don't like Mausa keeps producing the plastic, small plastic mold kit, but um, um, uh developed uh, gearboxes like that and used for many uh, toy companies. And um, now some uh, uh, change to the direction of the uh, business uh, to the, uh, the gearbox as a gearbox maker, and uh, and later uh, this production moved to factory moved to China, and uh, they started a kind of some contact business to uh, make toy companies in Japan, candy toys. So, but um, uh, 19, um, uh, 19, 1997 and uh, 1990s, kind of a new, and uh, how say, nostalgia boom, or uh, um, some people ask Marusan to uh, um, some people ask to uh, produce a reissue of the hydrosophy, like. Uh, Right of the reissue, producing reissue, like an M1, and uh, ask for that. So, first of all, uh, Marusan was like, a, uh, like a, so those uh, people who like to make reissue Marusan, like uh, getting royalty and uh, uh, that's kind of, kind of new business, you know, that royalty of the uh, admission to the producing the reissues. Then, as my boss uh, thought, maybe Marusan should uh, make um, by myself, by ourselves, uh, and start you to, because first of all, uh, Marusan gave the uh, right to the produce uh, reissues of M1 or some other company. <coughs> and then, Marsan started uh, original again, reissue original again in 1997. After that, uh, started to, to make uh, a different kind of uh, um, okay. And now, <laughs> um, now I think that um, Marsan. Uh, producing the kaiju sokubi, but also uh, not only kaiju, but also many kind of characters, uh, such as uh, uh, do you find that, uh, in Japan, say the uh, yuru kara, it's a kind of mascot. Uh, in all of, so many uh, mascots. Uh, some, each city has a, their own mascot. Local mascots, you know, some sort of mascot convention, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you said, Funashi, you said, uh, the upper left is a very popular mascot. Uh, it, uh, it's a kind of, uh, 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 how can I explain that? So, pear, <laughs> pear animal. <I> don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and also, uh, some Marusan produced some cute, uh, not not exactly monster, but some cute uh, series. And uh, uh, from now on, um, especially, I used to make some of them. And from this year on, I like to uh, develop uh, new series. It's called Kawaii Marusan. <laughs> Kawaii is cute. So not not only. You know, Besides uh, Kaiju Sokubi, I like to uh, the new project, uh, uh, 
the new project, uh, Kawaii Marusa. Uh, it's a uh, vinyl uh, teddy bear. And it's a used to, uh, used to produce art. And uh, Shirake Dori is a bird on the TV series. Blue sky kind of the monster, but a kind of cute monster. So, and this is new. <laughs> this is a new one, a uh, new project. Uh, it's a mushroom, uh, uh, the onesie cat. And uh, this is a design by the Asaka Kubo. Uh, she's an uh, actress and singer in Japan. And that's also a design. And this is her design. She, she loves cats. And, uh, this is uh, uh, that's heavy, re re removable. And this will, will be started to uh, sell from this year, uh, Taipei Toy Festival uh, 2019, October. It's a new direction. So, uh, of course, uh, Marusan will uh, keep producing uh, Kaija Sokubi. And, um, uh, but also, uh, Marusan like to produce a lot of different kinds of Sokubi. And also like to um, um, uh, produce, uh, produce many different kinds and uh, more expand uh, uh, attraction of Sokobi all over the world. Okay. Um, I think it's almost time. Uh, maybe for now, we'll queue up a time if you have any question. Uh, no, so who, who are your sculptors? This one? Um, like in general. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, Marshall has three or four uh, sculptures, and uh, most, mostly um, sometimes uh, I ordered for this one, it's uh, cute, no. uh, so this one, most of these. So maybe, yeah, about four different. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Are there any of the original sculptors still alive? That's still sculpt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Because now I'm approaching a lot of new ones. Not only reissue, but also new. Oh. Yeah. Then I have four uh, sculptures for working for us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do that fast. <laughs> uh, is there any particular, like, uh, uh, kaiju that was, like, a bestseller from our side? Like, one that was, like, what was, like, really, like, top, uh, top demand? Uh, I mean, ratio, okay. the top sales of ratio. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, when I started, uh, Giant Gorilla mm -hmm. uh, in 1997, mm -hmm. uh, so many different kinds of color version. <laughs> but uh, I think that. Uh, 1997 to the, what, about to 1998. That time, I sold a giant a gorilla, this standard size, mm -hmm. and, uh, totally uh, blue, red, blah 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 blah, blah totally five thousand pieces. Of, uh, and um, that's uh, I think. Uh, I still am protein. Classic Godzilla, but a long time, so almost about, over 15 years I'm selling. Maybe more than that, but, but short time. Yeah. Two, in, within two years, I think five, more than 500 pieces, 5,000 pieces, uh, I think only a giant gorilla. <coughs> also, um, even though this is not popular in the US, Gulala? Um, Gulala. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, um, I I met at the time Yulala. First one is a, a GID version, mm -hmm. the going to that version for the Japanese wholesale exclusive, 1,000 pieces. And the second one, <coughs> I saw the light blue, a uh, light green version with a video of the Yulala okay. uh, oh. set, a video set. The so 500 pieces. And later, uh, uh, original green color version, 
maybe 500 pieces. And uh, later, dark blue version, blah, 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 maybe 2,500 pieces of them. But at the, in Japan, like a Kaiju sort of boom, or a reissue boom, like a, around the two, year 2000. Nine, nine, around the 1999 to 2001. At that time, um, I'm doing exclusive, uh, event exclusive in Tokyo, like uh, one kind, one version, 300 pieces, and one uh, in the morning time, gone. Good <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. old days. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, other question? Yes. How long is production from like this as an idea mm -hmm. to finish product? Oh, a little time. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe first meeting, uh, what, what, uh, which character uh, decide, which size, which decide. After we decide uh, uh, which size, which character, I order to the sculpture. And uh, it takes like a come at first. Yeah. Maybe one or one and a half months and come up, and then, then we check. And uh, if there is a license, uh, oh, so, uh, first of all, I order the uh, rough design first, and uh, I submit to the licensor and approve our visit. How does it take? Depend on the license, sometimes two weeks, sometimes more than that. On operation, after I submit the design, um, it takes uh, two, uh, two or three weeks to the approval. After the approval, I'll start to order the uh, sculpture. And uh, first come up for like one month or one and a half months. And then um, take a picture and uh, another uh, approval to license. It takes two, two weeks about. And after the complete uh, first, uh, School uh, It's how to change the uh, works more time to works because in order to uh, produce the slash more molding, uh, so product must be transferred to the wax and uh, transfer the wax and then to the gate at, at the gate. <coughs> and uh, I think it should uh, depend on the, you know, the fact how much how you receive, but usually one month uh, to. Uh, change the wax model and brought to the uh, factory, uh, tuning factory. And uh, to usually, tuning factory, like a uh, month. And uh, after that, uh, maybe, uh, maybe if you need spray mask, like after that, maybe spray masks, like. Uh, so three weeks to spray mask and then start production. So that means uh, after we decide what we are going to make, <coughs> produce, after the come up fast production, but even though the dependent quantity, but a certain amount, a couple of hundreds, you know, maybe it's, let's say eight months, like uh, start to decide what which we start. Do your designers, sculptors, are they working in, in just like clay or some other substance, or are you also doing like 3D modeling on computers and oh, that as well? Okay. Um, some the new product like, like this, uh, and it's like a clay or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we do something like a 450 series, is an enlarged version of the old. Uh, uh, used to used to be the by hand and the sculpture technique, but now you do the CD uh, computer graphic. Yeah. So the scan and original yeah, yeah, yeah. just blow up for the model. Okay. So it depends, you know, like a blow up version or uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, 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 have you noticed if there's like any colors that are more popular in certain regions? Like maybe one color is more popular in Japan than here. Um. Okay. Recently, some you know, uh, like transparent, you know, and spray or um, glitter, 
and winter, and uh, I think some that became uh, maybe some Asia countries, and maybe you know, like a marble or this kind, you know, double um, molding or that complicated molding mm -hmm. that became popular. So I'm um, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe last last question. Okay, uh, I was wondering um, when you uh, produce these, are they produced solely in Japan, or is from China, or the production of the the piece? Is it uh, do you order it from like China, or is it all produced in Japan? Uh, no, all all Japan. Oh, yeah, every my, my, my every so stage. Is yes, yes. Japan. In not, not right now, do it. Yes. Oh, uh, used to, uh, I used to the many OEM business, mm -hmm. and I working for the, the candy toys in Japan, and uh, like uh, Tommy and uh, uh, Tommy Group, and uh, that's something that used to happen in China. Mm -hmm. The cost is so different. Mm -hmm. um, I was I used to work uh, making bugs, you know, okay. beetle, beetle, you know, <coughs> candy toy, uh, you know, beetle, beetle, uh, you know, beetle. I produced uh, 1.7 million pieces per year. <laughs> uh, beat, this, this, this has beetle. The OEM, yeah, the, the candy toy. Okay. I've about the company of Swiss in Japan, something like that. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Um, that's all. <laughs>